Ready? We just made these t-shirts using some bleach and some sublimation and it was way easier than we thought. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, it's a continuation from last week. Uh, we had so much fun messing with the sublimation that we decided to try it again this week. But we're going to make some t-shirts. Yeah, so I have wanted to try this t-shirt technique from spring of last year and I couldn't get Garrett like bought into the idea. I know you've seen it. It's where they're bleaching the front of the tees. Well, I feel like it destroys the t-shirt. That's all he kept saying. That thing's not gonna last. Once you bleach it, it's not gonna last. So I couldn't get him sold on doing that as a video for the past year. But now that it's all over TikTok, it's everywhere. Now everyone's doing it. And we have the new sublimation printer. We want to test out doing the bleach technique and some sublimation today. TikTok gets me every time. It does, for sure. That's what I was going to print you out of design. That said, peace, love, TikTok. Oh, but that I might should... have worked. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather our supplies. This week, we needed a sublimation printer. This is the same printer we converted last week. Super easy conversion, way fast. I mean, I wouldn't even call it a conversion. This is the printer we made a sublimation printer last week. Crazy easy. We needed a heat press. We're using our Cricut Easy Press. And that's because a couple of people asked in last week's video why we didn't have a t-shirt press. They're great and it's actually maybe a little bit easier, but Garrett kept dropping ours off of the, the table here because it wasn't glued down or bolted down. And we don't really have a place to store it. So we use the Cricut Easy Press, the large one. It works as, it, as well. It works fine. <laughs> we needed some sublimation paper. We we're using the A-sub. We needed some heat tape, high heat tape, keep our image in place. Some t-shirts. Now a little bit about these t-shirts. For sublimation, you want to keep your t-shirts about 50% polyester um, as the, the fabric of choice. And um, But we want to bleach these, so we want them not all polyester. So if you get the Cricut shirts, they're closer to 95% polyester. What we're looking to do is bleach these as well as sublimate on them. So we're gonna have, so these are running this particular Bella canvas, which Michael now carries, it was pretty cool, uh, is 52% cotton and 48% polyester. So I think it will sublimate and I think it will bleach. We'll tell you, we'll, we'll, we'll see. All right, and what you all got over are, there? All of mine are 50-50, well, except this one. This one's 60-40, came from Walmart, so. That's a Bella, Bella canvas. canvas, and then the other two are Gildan's. Gildan. Those came from Michael's. And then, are you gonna show your tank there? And then my tank, this one is also 60% polyester. It's gonna look rad, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and we needed I some bleach, a spray bottle, and then some, what was this stuff? Butcher paper. We're gonna talk about that when we get to heat press. I've got a story about that one. It's butcher paper. <laughs> Wait till you. I was gonna share more about that one. And then find yourself an image. Yeah, so we just pulled down a couple of images from Etsy. We found some sublimation, what are they, SVGs still? Yeah. And we, we purchased those, we printed them out, and we'll put them right on our shirts. You can really use any, any image that you can bring into Word. Yeah, photos, Word. you can put all kinds of stuff. Yep. Step two, we're gonna print our images. That's my... <laughs> It's my new hand motion yeah, for print. Yeah, I can see that. We're gonna hop over to Microsoft Word and print our images. I think that's the easiest way to tell how big it is. And uh, everybody has Word. Starting with a blank Word document, first thing we're gonna do is take down the margins. We're gonna take them all the way down to 0.1, one tenth of an inch. All the margins, top, bottom, left, and right. Some of the margins might be outside the print area. That is okay, let's hit ignore. And now let's go find our image. Let's see what we have. I think we should start with one of Kim's images, one that may be a little bit bigger. Perfect, a little bit bigger. Let's make it so that we can move this picture around. We're gonna go to the picture format menu, wrap text, and let's put this in front of the text. And let's go to position and middle center. And 
let's drag it down a little bit. Perfect. Back up top to the rotate tool and we're gonna flip horizontal. That'll mirror our image. And we're just gonna print it now. Our margins are too small. Some of the image might get cut off, but that's okay, I don't think it will. Step three, and now we sublimate. We're gonna heat press the images on our shirts, but only half. Right, we're gonna do two different techniques here. We want to try one, so we've seen a couple different things. We've watched lots of videos, lots. how other people are doing it. So we're gonna do half of our t-shirts, or a couple we're gonna do sublimating pre-bleach, and then a couple of them we're gonna sublimate Post. after we bleach. Post-bleach. Post-bleaching. All right, so let's start with mine. And we have our images. We have, oh, I made two of each so that we can run a real test. I'm gonna use the same image. I'm gonna lay one down pre and one down post. And we'll see which one uh, looks the best using the same shirt too. All right. I think we need some butcher paper, right? <laughs> so this is where I was going to tell you about the butcher paper. So I told Garrett to order some butcher paper for sublimating. So you don't want the ink to transfer onto your um, heat press or your heating pad. So you really need to put paper underneath and paper on top. So I asked him to order it. So this comes in the mail. I just have to show you guys this because I think it's so funny. It's the meat hugger. Can you see it's the meat hugger? And it is definitely butcher paper. He, it's, but it's pink butcher paper. So I don't even it's like know. It's like butcher paper. Like this... if I were to go to the butcher and order like some kind of meat slice, He's... they would wrap it in that. He's ordered us quite the, the hog picking. I don't even know. I don't look know. I don't even know. Look, look, look how easy it is to use. Bam. <laughs> so we will see if this pink butcher paper is going to work okay. It was cheap. Was yeah. Well, if it works okay, we'll put a link to it down below <laughs> so you can get your own meat hugger. If it doesn't work <laughs> and it bleeds pink, we'll still put a link down below in case you like pink shirts. <laughs> Don't you want to put what? cardboard in there or just for no, bleaching? That's just for the bleaching, yeah. This is just for blowout so it doesn't get on the back of the shirt. Alright, this is my pre. All right, are you just right gonna eyeball it? You didn't, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna eyeball it because everybody that's looking at my shirt will also just be eyeballing it. If anybody ever runs up to me with a ruler, I'm like, oh, whoa. We're whoa. gonna show you the trick when I do mine. <laughs> Is that straight? Yes. Oh, now all of a sudden. Yeah, well, st straight is different than, uh, Looks good, right? Like four inches, four, four yeah, fingers. Yeah, three from fingers for you. For you, for you, it's three. three fingers. For me, it would be like, like four fingers. They got big fingers. Yeah. All right, looks about right. High heat tape. I'm just gonna put one on either side. This is so I don't get ghosting. Oh, or we can do it that way. <laughs> is that not right? I don't want to leave. Remember the last time it left that tape mark? I don't want to do oh, that yeah. either. Oh, should we have trimmed around the image? Yeah. Nah. I'm but yours is, yours yeah, is mine's fine. mine's pretty white. Mine's got a white back background anyway. All of these pretty much have a white background. Do we need to have to trim it? We'll see if we have to trim it. I can do no, it like right, trim it. right around here. Nah. Yours we'll see up how this one goes. Paper. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what this one looks like. 385 for 60 seconds. Oh. I need another butcher paper. Oh, my bad. We're a mess today. So you were my butcher paper assistant today. We're a mess today. Hold on, I got you. All right, I got you. Let's go. All right. Now, 385 or 60 seconds. Oh, I can't see where it is. All right. Yes. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rest on it. This is like a test. It's like my shirt test. I 
is hanging off. You don't think I got it all? I got it all. It looks good. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, it accepted it. It took it, it took it. See it? There's Bart and crew, they're all ready to go. All right, we'll set this one aside. <laughs> So I know he didn't pre-trim his, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut mine out. I was too excited. It's going right in. All right, and once you print these on the sublimation printer, the colors, well, this look pretty good. Yeah, they don't pop though. Yeah, they don't pop they're a little like bit dull. The yes, they're a little dull now on the paper, but when the ink infuses into the t-shirt, it really brings it alive. Yes, but you're not even going to see it that well on these t-shirts because we're doing these pre-bleach. If you did it on a white t-shirt, you'd really see those colors pop. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like after we bleach it, though. Yes, after we bleach, you'll see them pop again. Yes. There's your inner. Oh, this is a big shirt. I'm sure that was, wasn't my shirt. Yeah, no, I'm not. It's an XL. I thought it was a large. <laughs> you want to trade one with me? No, those are all trade? boy colors. Yeah. You want to trade with me? Okay. I'll trade my tank? Last minute. All right. That's my ruler. This will be my other Barton Creed. This is actually uh, a tank for me, but <laughs> Garrett wanted the red, so he yeah, was going to do red. his Crew Jones on the red. For mine, I'm going to show you how to find center. If you've watched one of our t-shirt videos before, you want to just put the seams together and then do a little quick press right here. Can you give me a quick press? That's good. Now when you open it back up, there's a seam right down the middle. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You're not even winging it. I'm not going to wing it. We're going to put our butcher paper in here. Let's see. I think that goes all the way up to the top. Make sure it's nice and flat. We're going to give it a quick roll. Oh, get all the lint off. That's right, because you don't want that stopping or blocking your sublimation image. Good thing I think I saw a cat hair in there. <laughs> it would have been a permanent cat hair shape. And then you can find the center of your image like this as well. Just kind of do the corners. And because this is a um, U-neck, I'm going to go closer to the top. All right. High heat tape. High heat tape. Just going to tape that along the edges. Put your paper underneath, put your paper on top. This pink stuff seemed to work, so we're gonna go in 385, 60 seconds. Can you see where it is? You don't think you should go vertical? I think I should go vertical. Oh my goodness, you never wanna do this. You never wanna move it after you put it on there. You do it every time. <laughs> you do not wanna move it. Now with this tank top, I'm not really sure this one doesn't have cotton in it. You know, I didn't notice until a little while ago that it's 65% polyester, but 30, what is it? 35% viscose. So I don't, I still think that's a synthetic. Um, so I don't know how well it'll bleach. I think it'll sublimate great. I don't think it'll bleach. I, I'm not sure how well it'll bleach. Yeah. Well, we're about to find out. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, cute. Yeah, most of the ink came off, so I think it's good to go. We'll see. It also made it a little pink looking. Mm. We'll see what the bleach does to it. All right. Back to mine. Yeah, you're going to do two. We're both going to do two pre-bleach. Yeah, I'm going to do two of the same and then two of the same. Okay. So. Step 
four. And now we're gonna bleach. We dump some bleach into the spray bottle. And now we're gonna put some cardboard in the shirt so yeah. that we don't bleach all the way through. Just trying to bleach our images. Yeah, so this is just basic cardboard, like cardboard box, so you can get the... Uh, like a pizza box. Yep, or the t-shirt. You can get or, those t-shirt forms made out of cardboard. Or Amazon boxes. I bet you have an Amazon box or two. Yep, so we have each of these. Now, you could do this outside, and I would recommend doing this outside, maybe in your driveway, but we Ours can is see... looming rain. Yes, it's about to rain any moment. Any moment. And we're here filming this, so we're gonna do it inside. We have opened all of these windows up right here, and we are gonna wear our respirators. Oh, there was thunder. <laughs> See? <laughs> So around the image, we're going to spray it with a mist, and then we're going to put it on stream to put the to give it those bleach shocking waves, like streaks in the t-shirt. And we do have a, like a vinyl tablecloth down here, so we're doing this over vinyl. Let's see how that goes. Safety first. All right, ready? Going in. All right, you want to speed this thing up? Let's speed this so you up. would do this outside in the sunshine because the heat heat help a, helps to activate the bleach. So I think we're going to try it with our heat gun. These are going to be the t-shirts that we're bleaching before we sublimate. So you dip this in the flour and you can kind of mark the edges of where you want it to be bleached. Don't you want it closer like that? Yeah. <laughs> Step five. Now we're gonna wash our shirts. <laughs> we're just gonna throw them in the washer. Quick cycle, cold, just as cold as it can be. And that stops the, uh, the bleach. And you can wash them all together. Step six. Now we're gonna sublimate the second half with the Cricut heat press. I know you're wondering about the first half. We're not even going to look right now. We're going to do a <laughs> final comparison to see what they look like at the end. All right. Well, we'll start with yours, I guess, then. Yeah, start with mine. I already have my images. All right. These are the ones we did not sublimate first. These are we just bleached first. Now we're going to add their image. Same images, same print sequence, same t-shirt. We're just going to see if it's... Uh, Better to do before or after. All right, we have our butcher paper, our meat hugger butcher paper in there. That's right. <laughs> all right, we're all done, uh, but we got a little bit of yellowing on some of the ones that we heat pressed after we bleached it. So we're gonna try to use some hydrogen peroxide and some heat to bring it back to white. We'll see if it works. I heard if you just missed it. Should we just missed it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna try that a little bit. And the heat gun. Or can you? The heat press? Press it more. Okay, 
Uh, uh, uh. Put this over it and press that thing. Hey, it's working. Yeah. Put it on again. Hey, I think it worked. Yeah. All right. All right. That came out great. A little bit of hydrogen peroxide and we threw the heat press back on there. Yeah, the heat White press right is there. off. It's just whatever residual heat's on it. Yeah, wasn't a whole lot of heat. All right, you guys want to see what we got now? All right, so we're done. Here, you want to hold that? Yes. This one right here is sublimated after we bleached it. This one sublimated before we bleached it. Same shirts, though they gild in 50-50, 50% polyacrylic or polyester, polyester. So, I don't know, I think before. Well, look at the detail in after. Yeah, but so. after has a lot more detail to it. Yeah, you yeah. might want to get close with the camera and yeah, do some final I'll shots. Us, yeah, I'll show, show some final shots. Yeah. And then here, this is a after. That's after we bleached it and before we bleached it. And these are the Bella Canvas. Same shirt, same image. Yeah, Bella Canvas. Bella Canvas. Yeah, yeah, they're the same. Same shirts. So the first this two are the same This one feels a little shirts. softer than that one. Hmm, I wonder why. And... I think after really came out great. The detail in after really pops. See. Yes, yeah. I think we... Lesson learned on trimming your image. Definitely trim your image. Yeah. Trim this one had image. a lot of white as a background, so you could really see it once it's sublimated. You can kind of see the frame on that one. But I think they look good. I, yeah. I am I'm really wear excited. Them. I'm totally yeah. wearing these. I like them. You want to show yours now? Yeah. Is that that was after? This one is after. You want to hold it? Yeah, I'll hold your after. So we bleached it, then sublimated this one. And this one was before. Are they and both? these are both Bella Canvas. Both Bella Canvas. Mm-hmm. That was before? This is before. Mm-hmm. You could tell it kind of faded. It looks good. So but the bleach, I think it's a little more crisp afterwards. Yeah, I think the bleach over it, while kinda, it still looks great, yeah. it did fade it a little bit. Fades the black. Seems to yes. fade the black. Yes. And yeah. here, this one's the black is a little more vibrant. Um, because you sublimated afterwards. I like how the uh, that uh, flower left this ghosting. Effect. Oh yeah, I was going to show you that because I haven't shown you this one yet. This one was also done after. After. And you see that little ghost ring around the image in purple? That is from the flower. So where I had the flower and left the flower on kind of thick, it didn't take the bleach as well. I think it looks cool like that. Which is kind of cool, you know? Yeah. Uh-huh. It came out in a circle like that. Yeah, we sprayed the back of them. Oh, yeah. She got the back of her nose. This one, the back of this one looks good. I like this one. Looks cool. And the other one... Um, that did not work. <laughs> yeah, this one didn't work. So this was the... Uh, what did I tell you it was? 68%. Yeah, 65% polyester, 35% viscosa 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 and yes. yeah didn't work mm -mm. nope it did not take the bleach this is what we were talking about we were you know so now you know so now one of the kids has a shirt yeah i'm gonna give it to one of the kids they won't care so it didn't take the bleach as well i mean it's a little bit bleached let me hold it up can you help me hold like the sides a little yeah yeah there you go so you can see it didn't really bleach as well as the other, yeah. but it sure it certainly took the uh, image. Yeah, it definitely it sublimated, sublimated the right? image on it, and I would think if you had a white one. Yeah, if you had a white one or a light colored one, you know, like yeah. a light aqua or a light peach or something, mm -hmm. it would look good. Yeah, and even this one with just the sublimate, you can't see the colors in it. Yeah, but the design still looks cool on it. It does. It'll still work. I am very excited. This is the project that I wanted to do a year ago, and he was like, no, no, no. No, it would never work. <laughs> I'm so glad that we got to do it, and I love them, and I'm I look so forward to doing some more. Yeah, I'm definitely 
looking forward to doing some more. Well, I think these are kind of easy. Spend the afternoon. I could sell these at the farmer's market for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, totally. With some, like, 4th of July designs, especially because oh, it's coming up. Oh, yes. That would be perfect. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> All right. Big thank you to our patrons. You guys are awesome. I yes, love you. Yes, And we'll see you here in a minute in our after show. So if you're not joining us for the after show, we're about out of time. So we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, make it again. I'm going to go put all my shirts on right now. Okay, go put them on. Let's put them on for the after show. Oh, yeah, all right. You want to do intro? You want to have them on for the intro? Yeah. All right. We'll hold them up. Let me turn the camera off before we start getting naked. Yeah.